Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside the medicine. Continue the real history through reading. I'm going to continue to read. So she let them down by a rope through the window for the house she lived in was part of city wall. Now she had said to them, go to the hills so the pursuer will not find you. Hide yourself there three days until they return and then go on your way. The man said to her, this oath you made us swear will not be binding on us unless when we enter the land. You have tied this scarlet cord in the window through, the, through which you let us down. And unless you have brought your father and mother, your brother and all your family into your house, if anyone goes outside your house into the street, his blood will be on his own head. He will not be responsible as for anyone who is in the house with you. His blood will be on your head if his hand is laid on him. But if you tell what we are doing, we will be released from the oath you made us swear. Agreed, she replied, let it be as you say. So she sent them away and they departed, and she tied the scarlet cord in the window. When they left, they went into the hills and stayed there three days until the pursuers had searched all along the road and returned without finding them. Then the two men started back. They went down out of the hills, folded the river, and came to Joshua, son of Nun, and told him everything they had happened there to them. They said to Joshua, The Lord has surely given the whole land into our hands. We, all the people, are melting in fear because of us. Crossing the Jordan, Chapter 3 Early in the morning, Joshua and all the Israelites set out from Shittim and went to the Jordan, where they camped before crossing over. After three days, the officers went throughout the camp, giving orders to the people, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests who are Levites carrying it, you are to move out from your positions and follow it, then you will know which way to go since you have never been in this way before, but keep a distance of about a thousand yards between you and the ark. Do not go near it. Joshua told the people, Consecrate yourself, for tomorrow the Lord will be amazing things among us, will do amazing things among you. Joshua said to the priest, Take up the ark of the covenant and the pass on ahead of the people so that so they took it up and went ahead of them and the lord said to joshua today i will begin to exalt you in the eyes of all israel so they may know that i am with you as i was with moses tell the priest who carries the ark of the covenant when you reach the edge of the jordan's water go and stand in the river Joshua said to the Israelites, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that the living God is among you, and that he will certainly drive out before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Perizzites, Gergashites, Amirites, and Jebusites. See the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth will go on to the Jordan ahead of you. Now then, choose twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe. And as soon as the priest who carries the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth set foot in the Jordan, its waters flowing downstream will be cut off and stand up in the heap. So when the people broke camp to across the Jordan, the priest carried the ark of the covenant, went ahead of them. Now the Jordan is at a flood stage or during the harvest. Yet, as soon as the priest who carried the ark reached the Jordan and their feet touched the water's edge, the water from upstream stopped flowing. It piled up in a heap a great distance away at a town called Adam in the vicinity of Zerathum. While the water flowing down to the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, 
was completely cut off, so the people crossed over opposite Jericho. The priest who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan, while all Israel passed by until the whole nation had completed the crossing on dry ground. Chapter 4 When the whole nation had finished the crossing Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, Choose twelve men from among these people, one from each tribe, and tell them to take up twelve stones from the middle of the Jordan, from right where the priest stood, and to carry them over with you and put them down at the peace place where you stay tonight. So Joshua called together the twelve men he had appointed from the Israelites, one from each tribe, and said to them, Go over before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan. Each of you is to take up a stone on his shoulder. According to the number of the tribes of the Israelites, to serve as a sign among you. In the future, when your children ask you, what do these stones mean? Tell them that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. When it crossed the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. These stones are to be memorable to the people of Israel forever. So the Israelites did as Joshua commanded them. They took twelve stones from the middle of the Jordan, according to the number of the tribes of the Israelites, as the Lord had told Joshua. And they carried them over with them to the camp, where they put them down. Joshua set up the twelve stones that had been in the middle of the Jordan of the spot where the priest who carried the Ark of the Covenant had stood, and they are there to this day. Now the priest who carried the ark remained standing in the middle of the Jordan until everything the Lord had commanded Joshua was done by the people, just as Moses had directed Joshua. The people hurried over, and as soon as all of them had crossed the ark of the Lord and the priest came to the other side while the people watched, the men of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, Across over armed in front of the Israelites, as Moses had directed them. About forty thousand armed for battle cross over before the Lord is the plains of the Jericho for war. That day the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel, and they revealed him all the days of his life, just as they had revealed Moses. Then the Lord said to Joshua, command the priest carrying the Ark of the Testimony to come up out to the Jordan. So Joshua commanded the priest to come up out of the Jordan, and the priest came up out of the river, carrying the Ark to the covenant of the Lord. No sooner they had they set their feet on the dry ground than the water of Jordan returned to their place and ran at the flood stage as before. On the tenth day of the first month, the people went up from the Jordan and camped at Gilgal on the eastern border of Jericho. I'm going to stop here today and continue next time. Thank you for watching.